and I'm using my Vantage Snap-on graphing meter, MT2400, and I'm going to teach you how to find whether your uh, fuel injector is ground side or positive side controlled within the DCM. So you just take a basic test light, and in this case, I just went to the alligator clip side to positive, and then I put a T-pin, and the wire going to the right is the purple wire, and then I touch my test light on it, and you'll see it splashing, okay? So what I've discovered here is that this is negative side control. So the positive test, the positive end of uh, was going on the alligator for the test light, so whatever the test light touches has to be ground. So this is ground in this case, so it's ground. So over here, you see the lights flashing, and so then we know that it's ground side control. So to get your snap-on vantage ready to check the waveform for a fuel injector, you go ahead and turn it on, and in this main menu here, it's going to say <clears throat> on the third one down, waveform viewer. So then just hit Y to continue, and then it's going to give you the option to check either ground side or power side control fuel inductors, and then you'll hit yes again, and then that'll take you to the screen. You'll put your positive onto the channel one, and you'll put that onto the T-pin, and then you'll put the other end onto ground. And then you've got your waveform here. Now I've already got it all set up, and so how you're going to do it is you're going to scroll through to, to, to put it onto a 50 and neg negative 14 scale, and you're going to have it on a positive slope. 10 milliseconds, you can do 20 milliseconds, but 10 milliseconds time base is perfect. And then continue to scroll, and we get our, the voltage I want to have this set to is 9.8. If it go any lower, it doesn't show the waveform properly because it's not enough voltage showing. And then you want your trigger around the middle, so about 48 to 50% in the middle, so you can have a good view of your waveform. And once you've got all that set up, and you see that your waveform looks like this, then this is exactly what your waveform is supposed to look like. This is a known good fuel injector for a sequential fuel injected type conventional fuel injector. This is what it's supposed to look like.